All right, folks, we're at the marina. Okay, I put in right there. Old truck sniper waiting on me. Now, folks have been asking me, how, how do you find crappy? So, I had, I had someone ask, and I've had other people ask me, uh, I've had other people ask me that when I'm at the marine and stuff. You know, when I come in from fishing and stuff. So, what I'm going to do, the main channel's to our left. The creek goes back to, under this bridge. I'm going to go out, go through the bridge, go toward the back of the creek, and I'm going to start going into pockets. Now, I haven't fished this area for crappie this year. I have fished this area before. I know where two beaver huts are, and the other week, three, three weeks ago, I looked at a boathouse to paint at the back of this creek, and I could see a beaver hut from that guy's boathouse that I didn't know about. So I've never fished that beaver hut. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to a beaver hut, cause it's wood, and crappy like to spawn on wood. The water's running, I don't have my death finder on yet. The water, last time I was out was two days ago, and the water was, 62, 64. Okay, guys, this is the first place I came. I showed you when I come out of the bridge. I took the went in the first cove here. There's a tree in the water, and I see a little brush there. Uh, used to be a beaver hut right there. But it's not much left of it right now. I don't know if people killed the beaver, run him off, or what happened. But okay, let me get you up here where y'all can see. Sorry right, guys, I said I was gonna fish this dock right here. I told you about it. one come off this end right here. There's a crappie. And that's the first bite I've had, guys. And this, of course, is the first place I came. But again, what I'm trying to show you today might not be about catching a lot of fish. I'll just show you, I might catch one or two and go on. Look at his tail. <laughs> Gay time of day. Unusual. Something took a bite out of his tail, didn't it? Okay, guy, you had a rough life. But. Look at this crappy guys. There you go. What y'all think of that one? Well, let me see if I can get him off here. And I'll show y'all what I've done. He smoked it. It's I got it. He smoked it, I'm gonna tell you that. He's probably he's probably fifteen inches, I'm gonna say. Alright guys. Got a small one here on the same tree. There you go. Now what I've done, I've got a Y'all probably can't see it. This rod right here, I got a float on, and I got an itsy bitsy swimmer on it. Because uh, sometimes when the, after a cold front, when the fishing's tough, and he's just a little fella. I think that's the little scrappy I've caught this year. <laughs> uh, they'll hit that little swimmer. Now, I got this hooked up weedless on this rod, and I was just throwing it out, swimming it back across the tree. Okay? Let's see if we find another big one. That big one was fun. Guys, this little stuff right here is fish. That's the tree. There's fish off of the tree. This is probably fish here. What I'm showing you, that I ran on top of this big lay down right here. See this lay down coming into the water? That's what I'm trying to show you. Man, I got too close on it now. But anyway, there's fish on it. So that's the kind of place if you find fish on a big old tree like this, they'll be here until the water probably gets, it's 10 foot out here in the front of it. They'll just keep moving out of it. See it here. See here. Now my Jeff finds changing depths. Okay. I'm sorry, it's done it, guy. This is the tree, the big part right here. Is the tree. But some of these are fish that's underneath of it. That's probably a limb right there. But there's something there.
This sucks like a decent one here too, guys. That's a decent one there too, fellas. What do I think of that one? He's probably got some eggs in it. He's probably 12 and a half. Maybe 12 and 5 eighths. <laughs> Okay, guys, I moved to another cove, and you see what I found was another laydown. We've had a lot of storms in the last couple of years here, and I don't got hung up. But uh, crappy will hold on these laydowns. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm hitting laydowns out of the pocket, as you can see. There's like, another, there's like something else laying there sticking out of the water. And I'm going to fish around the fish that point. And uh, that's how you find crappy. I'm in a cove here. If you got a tree, the last tree I just left, I showed y'all how many crappy, it was a lot of crappy on it, and I caught, I don't know, three or four there, but I could have stayed around there and kept catching crappy probably, but the point of this video, right there, the point of this video is to show you how to find them. That's what I'm doing. So then I went to another cove now, and I see the, how much trash is in the water here. Six foot, I'm watching my death finder. This is plenty deep enough. If you got uh, six or seven foot on one of these laydowns, that's five, six, seven foot is plenty for this time of year so i went in there to it and it came right off i don't know if y'all can see it's all kinds of limbs right here in the water there's a limb right there that's all it takes let's see if i can find a crappie here yeah we're gonna find out what it is in a minute guys he hit me i'm mean, throwing that little swim bait oh yeah that's a nice crappie i'm gonna net this one He's not hooked very well. I got him. Once I do that, I got him. Look at this crappy fellas. Look at this one. Oh my goodness. Look at that crappy guys. Whew. He's 16 inches. Now he hit that. He hit a swim bait. And I got it weedless. But I'm, I'm fishing deeper. Guys, that's what I'm doing. Again, just fishing the, the corner of a, of a point here. I told you I was going to fish that lay down back there. And I came across and I'm fishing this bank. See, this is a little bit of a bank here. It's got some rocks on it. It's a point. Old beaver hut right there. You see a little bit of trash left. That's the kind of areas you want to fish. Somewhere where there's some cover. I felt my bait hit something a couple times before I got bit. But that's a nice crappy right there, buddy. Everybody, anybody be proud to catch one that side. That makes it fun. I don't care if I catch another one this evening. I've caught two or three nice ones, but that's how you find them. I'm not catching a bunch of crap. Like I told y'all a cold front went through. Okay, let's see if I can find another one like that. Gosh, guys, I hope this is a crappy. I hope this is a crappy. <laughs> He's fighting like a crappy. He just head shakes and running in circles. Oh my gosh, it is a crappy, guys. Let me get the net on this, baby. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Look at that one. I'll tell you one thing. He's just as big as the last one, isn't he? You know, I didn't measure that last one on the board. It's, he's 15 inches. If he ain't 15 inches, by Georgie, I don't know why he ain't. He's right there at it, isn't he? He's 14 and a quarter. Yep. So that other one's just as big or bigger than the last one I caught, wasn't he? Okay. I didn't measure him either. I was guessing him by 16. And I thought, well, he's at least 15. So I figured his last one was probably 15 too then. You yes, fishermen get a little excited sometimes, don't we? That's a nice fish, guys. Bam! Going! And guys, this cannot be a crappy. This is a crappy. It's, he's big. He's lake record. <laughs> Look at my rod. I ain't jumped yet. Huh? Come up to the top. Because a crappy usually won't come to won't jump. I've had a couple. Usually a bass will come up and show himself. Let's go back and find the net because I don't care what it is. We're going to have to net it. Oops. Keep my tackle box. I hope it's a crappy because he's a nice one. It is a crappy. I'm going to tell you what now. This He's a nice one. He fought like a nice one too. Look at this one. 
They get they just keep getting bigger, guys. <laughs> Woo, boy. Told you if it's a crap eve, it's gonna be a nice one. Jimmy crickets. Good gosh. What a crappy. <laughs> On a little swim bait. Guy, that's why I kept throwing this point. I'm still in this point. Now, this is. <laughs> oh, boy. That's how you find them. I'm sure. <laughs> I hope all my findings go like that the rest of the year. But y'all see the kind of place I'm fishing? Now, this is a deep point, and it's feeding back into these trees and stuff. When I couldn't find them on the cover, I went out to the closest point. That's a huge crappie. For, look, he ain't, he's right at, he's 14 and three quarters. Look how fat he is, guys. He's right at 15 inches. <laughs> he looks bigger than that, doesn't he? And I'm holding him out there like that. Good gosh, look how fat he is. Look at <laughs> I love catching crappie that size, guys. Hey, I know guys that want crappie fish, but I'm going to tell you what. When you catch them that size, where's my reel? I like to... My little reel. Look. <laughs> I guess you no idea how big he is. That's a, one th that's a 500 Pfluger. I guess you no idea how big that crappie is, guys. All right. This is the... That's what I caught him on, guys. I use these little Pflugers. For crappy wheels. I'm gonna tell you what, he had that Wally Marshall rod. He had that old Wally Marshall rod bent now, didn't he? See ya, big boy. Big girl, I mean, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it when they do kind of stuff like that, don't you? Hey, folks. We caught some nice fish. I was tickled to see me. I wasn't expecting to catch fish like that. We've had some bad weather. The wind was terrible yesterday. I mean, gusting like at 30 and 35. Trees were knocked down, so forth. And it was 39 this morning here. Normally, it should be in the 50s. It's supposed to be, I think, 51 tonight. That's about what it should be. But as long, it was cool today. We've been hitting around 68 to 72. It was cool today. It was still breezy. But I had the afternoon off because I finished the job early. As I told you, I'm still painting. I'm a paint contractor. I came home and jumped in the boat. Somebody asked me, how do I find crappie? Okay, and one of, one of my uh, subs asked me that. So I thought, that's a, good, that's a good topic. Let's make a video about that. So I started at the boat ramp, which I showed you. I went through the bridge and went back in the creek. That bridge, and, and to my, if I went to my left, I could look out and see the main channel, okay? That's how close it was to the main channel. I went through the bridge, started dissecting. With one cove, I caught that one crappie. Went back to another cove to the left. There's a beaver hut there, too. This, this creek has five or six beaver huts. Some of them are, do, are starting to rot away. You know, they do not move, I reckon, or somebody caught the beaver, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> he's gone. I went in that cove, nothing. So I went on back a little further, then to a deep bank, where the creek channel comes in and hits the bank, and it makes a turn. It makes a turn. Now, usually that's an excellent winter place and a summer place. But I knew that big tree was there because I had fished it before. I hadn't, fished, hadn't been in there this year. First time. So I went to that big tree, cast around there, nothing. When I crossed that big tree with my death finder, I'm watching. You know, always keep your eye on that death finder. I looked down, I went, wow, there's crappy. There they are. And you can see the tree limbs. So I stopped and showed that to y'all. You can see the tree limbs. And then a little separation green. I had mine on green. The little separation is crappy. And the ones under those limbs are crappy. I turned around and made a cast, and I caught that nice fish that you, I showed you. So I fished there for about a half an hour, 45 minutes, and I caught three or four. I showed you, showed you all the nice ones. I caught a bass. Basses will leave you alone sometimes. But the fish were deeper. It was 10 foot, 10 to 12 foot where I was fishing there. And the bass wasn't 10 foot. There was five and six foot you see on Death Finder. They was up in the limbs. So I went up that bank a little ways. I caught another one. There was a couple down trees there. I went on down further. I got close to the back of the creek. I got down to where I could almost see the back where there's, you just can't go any further. I was really close. I was probably 600 yards. It forked again. A cove went into a fork. And it was a rounded point. And it's a good point. It comes off to about 10 foot pretty fast. And it's loaded with stumps. And I knew it had stumps on it. And I've caught crappy there before in the past. So I thought, okay, maybe they'll be there. So I went in and fished a treetop. Nothing. When I came back around that point, I caught a nice one. 
Okay? And the bell went off earlier when I come off that tree. The crappy had moved about deep because today is Tuesday. I was out Sunday and I caught them in two or three foot of water. I see them come up and grab my bait. They had moved by deep because of that cold front and the cold weather. So I had a swim bait and I went to a one sixteenth ounce weight. You know, guys, I don't I don't like to use heavy weight, but it fit the purpose of what I was doing. I was casting up, letting it hit bottom, and I was reeling it back slow. I wanted a heavier weight so I could continue to move the bait and reel it back slow so the bait was running along and going through those stumps so I could cover more water. With a lot of weight, I would have had to pull it very slow and I'd have to stop more often and let it get back down. The heavier weight, I could continue to reel it all the way back. You've got to learn to make adjustments. See, I made an adjustment today. I was catching them shallow a few days ago. And I made an adjustment went back to five. I was catching them in five to six foot of water off those stumps. At the tree, I was catching them in eight and nine foot of water. And as I said, the fish were averaging the death line. It looked like six foot, sometimes eight. It was in that area, but it was like 12 foot of water. So the fish had moved back over deeper water. They were hanging those stumps. And it was about five or six foot. I got home on one of them and got my bait back. And when I'd done that, I looked at my death line and I was still five and a half foot of water. And I could look down and see the stump as I shook my bait off of it. So that stump was probably at least in four and a half, five foot of water. So that's where they were. They were in four or five foot of water around those couple stumps around there. And I caught some nice ones off of that. I got excited, guys. I love catching crappy 14, 15 inch crappy. Because you just don't catch them that big every day. And when you see like when you find them like that, they were scattered. So he wasn't a bunch of fish there. It was scattered big crappy there. Love that when I find them like that. And that swim bait was perfect because I could cover the point. I went back and forth that point probably about six times. All right? Then I said, look, I'm going in. And it got dark. I mean, I loaded my little boat because I'm going fishing again tomorrow into a different lake with my son. So hopefully you all see that down the road here in a week or so. But... I'm going to get loaded as soon as I can because I'm trying to help y'all. It's springtime. The crappy are going to start to move shallow. They're hungry. They're ready to spawn. And hopefully, this will help you find them. That's how I find crappy. If I go into any new spot, I just go back and forth. I start hitting things. And I subtract what ain't, you know, what ain't working. Mark it off the list. If you're not catching them shallow, go deeper. If you're not catching them off of beaver huts, try the lay downs. If you're not catching them off that, get in the channel. You, you never can go wrong by getting in that channel and get close to deep water. Crappy like to be shallow sometimes, but they want to be close to that deep water. And then what's going to happen, guys, after they spawn? They'll reverse it. They'll hang around those trees for a while. Those deep trees, those crappy will be there till here in, the, here in Virginia to about June. And then they'll start moving out the channel. Then you just go out the channel. If you can find brush piles and deep lay downs and 15 to 20 foot of water, that's where they're going to be. They won't be in the 20 foot. They'll be up in 10 or 12 in that tree. You know, they'll find what's comfortable to them. And in the evenings, they will pull up shallow to feed again in those trees, either either up on the, up, up, up the trunk and so forth and into 5 or 6 foot of water. And then when they get done feeding, they'll go back to that 12, 14 foot. Hope this helps you. My name is Dennis. This is Fish Lake Country. We'll see you next time right here.